This season, we're in San Antonio, Texas. Today, we'll be taking you with us to Mission Espada, one of the original five Spanish missions of San Antonio. In this review, we'll let you know what you can expect on your own visit. I'm Jeffrey, this is my wife Becca, and you're watching Destination Debris. Founded in 1690, Mission Espada was the very first mission in Texas, although it was originally named San Francisco de los Tejas. It was moved to its present location near the San Antonio River in 1731 and renamed to Mission San Francisco de la Espada. Besides the other visitors to the mission, it was so quiet walking the grounds. Hearing nothing but the wind meant you could almost imagine the absence of modern technology and try to feel what it must have been like to live here in the 18th century. Much of what remains at the mission are the ruins of what once was. Just a few walls are what's left of many of the structures, but it's enough to give you a general layout of what used to be here. Despite what little is left at the mission to explore, the grounds alone are worth a visit as we enjoy the peace and quiet away from downtown San Antonio. With the paved walkways, it's like a stroll through a park with plenty of history to keep your imagination trying to picture what it once looked like. But that's not to say there isn't anything here still intact. Now that Sunday services have completed, let's take a look at the church. The church originally stood in a different location on the same grounds, and you can stand in the exact spot where the entrance once existed as a portal to a new life at the mission. Little remains of that structure other than a footprint left behind over 200 years ago. Today, you just need to walk a few more steps to reach the arched doorway of a chapel that was rebuilt in 1887 by Father Francis Bouchou. It was again updated in 1911 with a new roof, floor, and windows. After the church, you can also walk along the outside of the convent and view the flowers growing beside the path. There is also a gift shop in case you feel like picking up a souvenir of your visit. Well, that's it for this stop on our trip. We'll see you next week. Before you go, check out what's still to come this season.